Debbie Harry is an iconic American artist whose life and career have left an indelible mark on the music, fashion, and cultural landscape. As the lead vocalist of the legendary rock band Blondie, Harry's sultry vocals, captivating stage presence, and fearless attitude catapulted her to the forefront of the punk and new wave movements in the late 70s and early 80s. In this video, we'll take a look at her life and career and what she's been up to lately. Early Life Debbie Harry, born Deborah Ann Harry, July 1, 1945, is a renowned American singer, songwriter, and actress, best known as the lead vocalist of Blondie. She was born in Miami, Florida, but was adopted at a young age by Richard and Catherine Harry and grew up in Hawthorne, New Jersey. As a child, she showed an interest in music and art, and she started singing in the church choir. Her passion for music continued to grow during her teenage years, and she began exploring the vibrant New York City music scene in the 1960s. In the late 60s and early 70s, she worked various jobs to make ends meet, including as a waitress and a secretary, while also trying to break into the music industry. She performed in several bands during this time, including The Wind in the Willows and The Stilettos, which laid the foundation for her eventual success. However, it was in 1974 when Debbie's career took a significant turn. She co-founded the band Blondie with her then-boyfriend and guitarist Chris Stein. The band's name was inspired by the catcalls that people would shout at Debbie Harry on the streets of New York. Blondie's music was a fusion of punk, new wave, and pop, and they quickly became a part of the burgeoning punk rock scene at the famous CBGB Club in Manhattan's East Village. Debbie's early career was marked by her determination, creativity, and groundbreaking contributions to music and fashion. Career Highlights Debbie's career is a tapestry woven with remarkable highlights that have solidified her status as a music and fashion icon. Her early life set the scene for her career, and her angelic yet sultry voice and striking presence quickly garnered attention. The formation of Blondie, of course, marked a huge turning point. Their fusion of different sounds became emblematic of the late 70s and early 80s, challenging conventions. Parallel Lines, Blondie's third album, propelled them to international stardom. Hit singles like Heart of Glass, One Way or Another, and Hanging on the Telephone became anthems of a generation. Call Me, from the movie American Gigolo, topped the charts, showcasing Harry's vocal prowess and versatility. Rapture, in 1981, introduced rap elements to mainstream music, an innovative move that showcased Blondie's willingness to push boundaries. Debbie's foray into acting led to memorable roles in films like Videodrome and Hairspray, expanding her artistic horizons. Her status as a fashion icon is undeniable. Harry's edgy style and fearless fashion choices influenced trends and made her a symbol of individuality. Blondie's reunion in 1997 with the album No Exit demonstrated their enduring creativity and marked a successful comeback. Induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006 celebrated Blondie's immense contributions to music. Beyond entertainment, her philanthropic efforts in AIDS awareness and environmental causes exemplify her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Personal Life Debbie's personal life is as intriguing as her career. She's maintained a level of privacy, but there are some notable aspects of her personal life that have been made public. Her relationships and marriages Debbie's had several high-profile relationships throughout her life, although she's been relatively discreet about them. One of her most well-known was with Blondie's co-founder and guitarist Chris Stein. They were not only musical collaborators, but also romantically involved during the early years of Blondie. Although they eventually separated as a couple, Harry and Stein continued to work together professionally and remained close friends. In the 80s, she also briefly dated musician and actor Clem Burke. She's been candid about her experiences with dating and relationships in interviews and her autobiography. She doesn't have any biological children of her own, but she has been involved in various philanthropic efforts supporting children's causes and has expressed her love for children in interviews. Outside of music and acting, she has several hobbies. She has a passion for photography and has exhibited her work in art galleries. She studied art at the University of Tampa before pursuing a career in music and maintained her interest in visual arts throughout her life. Her distinctive fashion sense and style have, of course, made her a fashion icon. 
She has occasionally designed her own clothing and has been known to experiment with various fashion trends. She has a deep connection to New York City and has lived there for much of her life. She's often spoken about her love for the city and its influence on her music and identity. Recent Years At 77 years old, she continues to captivate audiences with her talent and charisma. Some of her notable recent activities include Blondie's continued performances and albums. Blondie remained active in the 2010s, with the band releasing albums such as Panic of Girls in 2011 and Ghosts of Download 2014. They continued to tour and perform at various venues and festivals around the world. Autobiography In 2019, Debbie released her autobiography titled Face It. The book provides a candid and personal account of her life, career, and experiences in the music industry. It includes insights into her early life, relationships, and her time with Blondie. Art and Photography Debbie's passion for art and photography remained a significant part of her life. She continued to create and exhibit her artwork, demonstrating her multifaceted talents beyond music. Performing at Glastonbury 2023 Debbie Harry and Blondie delivered an impressive performance at Glastonbury this year. They played some of their greatest hits, energizing the crowd with classics like One Way or Another from their 1978 album Parallel Lines. Collaboration with other artists Debbie has been working on a new single titled Gonna Be You with other legendary artists like Dolly Parton, Cyndi Lauper, Gloria Estefan, and Belinda Carlisle. The collaboration is part of the soundtrack for the film 80 for Brady. Her Legacy Debbie's legacy as an artist and cultural icon is a testament to her enduring influence. As the front woman of Blondie, she shattered gender norms in the male-dominated punk and new wave music scenes, inspiring countless women to pursue their musical aspirations. Blondie's genre-bending music, fusing punk, new wave, and pop, set them apart and influenced a generation of musicians. Her fearless and edgy fashion made Debbie an icon. Her wardrobe choices, characterized by their daring and eclecticism, continue to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts. She embodied the spirit of the counterculture and the rebelliousness of punk, reflecting the changing social and cultural dynamics of her time. And her involvement in charitable causes, particularly AIDS awareness and environmental conservation, showcases her commitment to making a positive impact in the world. Her legacy is marked by her trailblazing spirit, artistic innovation, and unapologetic individuality. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Blondie song? Let us know in the comments section below.